Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Fireboat model by Lindbergh. It's a 172nd scale model. It's kit number 77226. It's been around for quite a while, and every once in a while it's re-released. It's one of the few um, tugs for a Fireboat version in this scale, and it's a skill level 2 for 14 and up. Uh, it has 95 white pieces and it includes instructions and water slide decals. But this is a pretty challenging kit because of the condition of the molds and the work you'll have to do to put her together. But once you've uh, mastered that, you can look forward to a really nice looking display. And if you want to further it with some weathering, you'd have a unique model for your collection. Here are the contents of the kit. And as you can see, they're nicely bagged. Uh, they've got an instruction sheet, and uh, the box art is pretty pretty nice. The decals are basically just the white lettering for uh, a version of the fire tug, and the kit also comes with a metal prop rod and some uh, glass uh, uh, clear pieces for the uh, windows and portholes. We'll be using some liquid cement for this to allow capillary action to just run along the ridges of the edges uh, to glue the parts together. But make no mistake about it, you'll have to clean these up thoroughly and test fit every part before you try and glue it together. We'll begin by assembling the main hull and the main deck. And as you can see with the uh, uh, diagram, it's uh, going to be a tricky project. Uh, mainly because the pieces don't fit together quite properly. They can be adjusted though, so uh, start gluing at one end and carefully glue the hole together uh, towards the back end. And then install the main deck uh, after you've cleaned that up and put that into place at this time. Uh, also note that there are some bulkheads here and some rub strips on the exterior to install. As the instructions point out, this uh, step can be a little tricky. The rear bulkhead and the deck, uh, along with the raised rear deck, has to be fitted within both halves uh, under the tabs inside each hull half. And do that as a dry fit before you glue the pieces together. And then the railing along the aft deck has quite a mismatch that you'll need to uh, kind of fill in and sand smooth so that it looks like a solid railing. After the fitting is complete and secure, you can apply glue along the seams and then clamp the hole together at the keel. Use some rubber bands to hold the hole against the deck. We can install the aft section of the deck next. Add some glue to the ledges where the pieces meet the main hole and let it set up. Then add a piece of masking tape to the aft deck surface to hold on to the part and turn the hole upside down. Press it firmly to let the glued surfaces mesh and then set it aside to dry. Now we can work on the cabin pieces, there's three, and first clean all the excess plastic off and uh, sand them smooth so they've got a level base. And when the fit is satisfactory, glue uh, is applied to the inside seams to put the cabin together. We'll use these pieces to put the pilot house together. These four pieces need to be trimmed and dry fit and carefully um, eye those up and make sure that the all the edges are square uh, or it will get a misalignment because of the four different pieces. Now assemble the stack. Uh, the two pieces there uh, go together but uh, first um, trim them then uh, dry fit them to make sure you get a good seam. Uh, and then apply some glue to the inside seams to uh, uh, get that uh, uh, put together. On the outside you may need to add some putty to smooth that out and make a nice round stack. Now we can join the prop and the shaft together. And when the uh, hole is securely bonded and the clamps are removed, insert the prop shaft into the hole there in the stern and then cement it into place. Now use some super glue there because uh, you're bonding you know, metal to plastic uh, as the rudder as well uh, needs to be uh, put into place. Uh, and, and you can just use the super glue. Grab these pieces now to assemble the tower cannon and um, once you've got them all cleaned up, test fit, make sure that they all match uh, the edges up. And when the fit is satisfactory, uh, glue two pieces together of the tower at right angles and then uh, uh, with some slow setting glue. And once that's set up a little bit, go ahead and uh, do the same thing with another set and add that 
uh, to the uh, first two pieces to uh, uh, assemble your ladder. Then when it's all done, assemble uh, the uh, tower top into place and then set it aside to dry. There too. Use the longest water cannon uh, to mount into the tower and the largest uh, valve wheel and glue those to the rear of the mount on that assembly to put those together. Locate the four water cannons from the kit and their mounting stands and the water valve wheels, there's eight pieces, and uh, six small ones and one large wheel. The smallest wheel uh, gets attached to the base on the right side of the cannon mount and then the larger wheels are attached to the rear of the cannon and cannon mount. Cut the parts out for the towing winch parts and then cement them when uh, fit is satisfactory and you've cleaned them all up. Locate the winch pulleys and the smaller pulleys are attached to the rear of the winch in the location holes and the larger pulleys are attached to the large gears in their location holes. After the glue has set on all the parts and sub-assemblies it's time to paint the structures. Now the hull has a lot of color variations uh, so masking it is essential. Painting the small pieces on the sprue is a good idea and many times it's much easier. The top of the main rail is painted black. Now we can add the uh, eight cabin portals and the uh, pilot house window and they're cemented into place from the inside. Uh, be careful with the glue um, and in fact use some micro, uh, micro scales uh, crystal clear or or even some white glue to install the glass to make sure you don't fog the windows up. After the window portals have been uh, uh, glued into the cabin, main cabin, you can glue that to the main deck using the tabs there for proper positioning. Uh, the upper deck then is now glued into place and uh, be sure to fit that uh, before you uh, commit glue to it to make sure that you got all the gaps and seams removed. Then paint the main cabin access doors white dry fit the uh, main cabin and file the walls uh, to make sure that uh, uh, there's no gaps or warpage there that uh, hinders the uh, correct uh, position and then uh, go ahead and fix those and then cement the roof to the main cabin and locate it on the ship's deck in the area provided there. Make sure that you scrape off any paint in the gluing area for a good bond uh, and for any of the parts on, on your build um, and then most of the parts will be painted before they're assembled, so that'll be an important thing to remember. Next we'll paint the binnacle and the steering post brass and let that dry and paint the steering wheel some uh, wood tones with some brass accents and when the, all of that's dry, glue them to the upper deck. So paint the uh, access door and the uh, frames for the pilot house white and when they've dried, test fit the upper cabin deck and when it's positioned properly, uh, glue that to the inside seams and then fit and glue the pilot house roof onto that. Now you can go ahead and glue the pilot house to the roof of the main cabin. Locate, trim, and paint the handrails brass. And when that's dry, locate and glue them onto the main cabin sides. Next we'll glue the towing winch to the rear deck using the four location nibs indicated by the white arrow and glue the towing bollard to the rear deck. That's the red circle. Glue all the mooring bollards in their proper locations to the main rail using the notches in the rail for proper location with the round corners of the bollards facing the midline of the hull. The rear mooring bollards here are seen uh, with the blue arrows indicating their position. Glue the mast to the pilot house roof along with the ship's bell, the navigation lights, and the searchlight. And glue the steam whistle to the stack using the location holes there. I left a quarter inch tape stripe on the stack and painted the top section black and the base red like the boat. When it's dry, glue the stack base to the main cabin roof just behind the pilot house and cement the uh, stack to the stack base with the steam whistle facing forward. Dry fit the rails to the upper deck and glue them in place and paint them brass, indicated by the blue arrows. Now glue the vent, white arrow, in place in the center of the rear of the main cabin roof and then glue two short ladders 
to the sides of the main cabin. Uh, those are indicated by the black arrows. The water cannon assemblies are now affixed to the main deck. So the front cannon, uh, there's one of those, and that goes in the mid uh, bow deck. And then the two rear cannons on the port and starboard rear deck just in front of the rear grating uh, can be put into place. Now add the main tower uh, to the main deck there uh, with the shorter legs uh, resting on the main cabin roof. And then cement the water cannon to the top of the tower and glue the long ladder to the side of the tower. Now we can prepare the ship for its decals and just brush uh, paint some of the floor polish, the future floor polish around the hole on the banner line there where the decals go and let it dry. Then prepare the decals as usual by soaking them uh, one at a time in some warm water and place the decals uh, into position as they're shown on the box art and oh, as you can see here. Um, they're pretty simple but they add a little elegance and personality to the finished fire boat. So squeeze off any uh, water with a soft cloth or tissue after they've dried and then spray the banner line with some clear flat spray. Well, we can't sugarcoat it. This model takes uh, an, an inordinate amount of work. Um, you'll have to do dry fitting for every piece and, and tab and uh, seam that you want to put together. But once you're done with that, uh, after all the work, you can have a model that you can be proud of. And it's a pretty uh, interesting display piece for your shelf. Um, if you If you would, though, I wouldn't give this to a youngster, but when you're all done, uh, it's going to look just great and if I were you and I wanted a special uh, uh, fire bolt for my display I would buy one and put it on my shelf. Well, we hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review and so that you don't miss any more please subscribe to our YouTube channel but you can find us on Facebook and also at our website rideonreplicas.com. Thanks!